All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing him in punches. Fantastic. Oh, nice grab by him there. Takedown defense on the point. He is a master in transition. That was a nice fight. Little single collar tie there. Right hand upstairs. Nice. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point... He's going to attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. the ground and pound strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie through. He gets to the spot, the tie through. Then he starts to let the knees block. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Got the single collar tie. Big punch land. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Round two on the way. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh! And he's out. Got his guard pass. Half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom.
reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. I mean, how many can he take? Now the guy's got on more. He's attacking it on. Gotta be careful, on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the... <laughs> Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Single collar tie now. Pretty good right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this one. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Trying for a submission here. here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking on bar. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission there. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Demetrius Mighty Man.